What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop and Out. My name is Max and today is a good day because today we are testing one of the rarest cars we've ever had on our channel. This is a one of 64 worldwide cars so a very limited edition and it is the Audi RS6 by Opt but it's not just a regular RS6R it is the Johan Opt signature edition so 64 of these are going to be made this is number eight and it is for sale at Dupark in the Netherlands so if you're interested go check them out they have an awesome collection of cars for sale a really cool company and as you might imagine there are not many of these for sale so if you're interested in this particular car go check out Dupark but they have a lot of other cool stuff as well so today I'm going to show you around it. We're going to talk about all the stuff that UP does to make this car special. What kind of exhaust is that? Very cool. Um, and we're going to take a look at the interior, of course. And after that, we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast. All right, so we're going to start with the exterior. Now, there are a few things on the outside that make this car special. Uh, of course, we've got a full body kit but the thing that makes it unique is that it has this carbon fiber with a metallic red fiber in there or a there's a really small like red little stripe on on each fiber almost uh, which gives it this red like hue it's not really red carbon fiber but it's just a little red accent incorporated into the carbon fiber now you can see that uh, the front bumper is different than a regular rs6 i actually took a photo of a regular rs6 that was for sale at dupark or is for sale at dupark so you guys can see the especially this part right here so the air intake for the cooling you can see that this is much bigger on the opt than this like triangle you can see that it goes a little bit more to the left it's much bigger and of course we've got this part in carbon fiber as well with that red accent in there uh, we've got the front splitter down here with a Johan Abt uh, autograph thing in there um, very pronounced front splitter now all the aero has been tested by Abt in the wind tunnel in Stuttgart and at Papenburg which is a uh, like a big oval uh, so everything has been tested up to 330 kilometers an hour which is the top speed so that's really nice to know when you take this car uh, to the autobahn so we've got some winglets down here as well which gives it a really aggressive look i have to say that this car it it's super aggressive i really like that i mean they're very very expensive but you do see that it's something different you know if you put this next to a regular rs6 you definitely will notice and that says something because a regular rs6 is already pretty aggressive looking um these wheels are for this johan apt edition as well the signature edition 22 inch now these wheels save three and a half kilos per wheel so that's quite significant and it's like this five six what is that one two three four five six seven spoke one two three four five no six spokes it's like a star and it has these little blades on the side i quite like that i think that is something that up does now and i kind of like that to give it like a sort of an arrow blade look we've got ceramic brakes behind that as well which is awesome another carbon detail on the side here and you can see every every bit of carbon has that that red metallic in there a uh, little side skirt as well and these mirrors the side mirror caps are carbon as well and i really like that little extension there it, it gives it a very nice look i have to say uh, this car is methyl's black actually you can't change the spec i think it's just one spec and at the rear more carbon fiber so an, a spoiler extension and then uh, which is all carbon fiber and then we've got another like an extension on the extension little gurney flap here for stability these carbon fiber extenders as well next to the rear window little side blades and of course a big diffuser that's pretty cool 
and uh, an opt exhaust as well. Well, I have to say the opt exhaust, it's not really loud or anything. I, it's not that much louder than the stock car, but of course it's all uh, tooth regulated. So yeah, they can't really do anything about that. So let's take a look at the engine. The 4 liter V8 bi turbo. Now, as standard, this engine delivers 600 horsepower, 800 newton meters of torque. This car, the Johan Opt Edition, is built in the Motorsport Workshop at Opt. So, uh, normally, these mechanics that work on this car only work on race cars, apparently. And uh, this power increase has been made possible by uh, new turbochargers, a new intercooling system which they made in-house and of course an ECU remap. It also has an additional oil cooler which can switch on when it's needed. Like, so if you have the need for more cooling it will uh, turn on. I have to say I do quite like this with this heat shield which is super hot of course Max. Johan Opt Signature Edition since 1896, from the racetrack to the road. Um, so yeah, this car now delivers 800 horsepower and 980 newton meters of torque, quite quick. 0 to 100 stock, 3.6 seconds. This car should be able to do it in 2.91. And the top speed is 330 kilometers an hour, up from 305. So quite a significant increase both in power and performance. Now, on the inside, we've got more Johan Abt Signature Edition stuff. So, there's actually quite a lot in here. Let's go from left to right. So we'll go from the door, which you can see has this red carbon inlay as well. Um, we've got this since 1896 illuminated door inlay door sill inlay. Uh, we've got Alcantara as you can see here that goes all the way up and on the sides as well on the roof with that red stitching. It is really really beautiful I have to say. We've got this floor mat as well with a button on there. Little Opt Johan Opt Signature Edition. The doors also have that and uh, we've got that red carbon on the gear lever as well and one of my favorite things about this car, this little piece of metal, which is a little part of the anvil used in the workshop of Johan Abt in 1896. That is super, super cool. I really like that touch. So Johan Abt, hot in here. Johan Abt is the one who started like the Abt company basically back in, in uh, 1896. And he was a blacksmith. So uh, they made a joke on the Opt website, which I kind of like, is that he also uh, worked on getting the horsepower to the ground because he made horseshoes. And now Opt is still working on getting the power to the ground. So I kind of like that joke. Um, I really like this detail. They, they call it a time capsule and I think it's very cool. Uh, Hans-Jürgen Opt, who is the grandson of uh, Johan Abt, he started the Abt Tuning Company. So it goes back a long way. And we've got this Abt logo right here lasered into the leather as well. And we've got this stitching on the seats as well. I have to say that quality wise, this is very, very good. Everything, all the touches, all the details are very cool. We've got this 8 of 64 logo right there. And everything just the finishing, the, the quality, the materials, it's all top notch. Uh, I really like that. Uh, we've got an up logo on the steering wheel as well, on the starter button. Now we've got the most ridiculous soft limiter on this car as well. So I'll go to RS2 and that's it. What is that, 3200 RPM? Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Can't hear anything, uh, but it's not that loud. So let's take it for a drive. What's up, guys? This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com.
They are the global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products and they offer the best tool in the business for grooming and for personal hygiene of the nether region, also known as manberries. Now, you guys often wonder about our balls. A bit too much maybe, I don't know. Maybe they're in the trunk, maybe they're in here, maybe they're in my pants, I don't know. So what we have here is Manscaped offered us very kindly a performance package 4.0 their newest package with your balls will thank you their slogan and in here we've got the lawn mower 4.0 their newest latest and greatest trimmer with an led even so you can see your gentleman eggs properly when you shave them uh, and it's got a ceramic blade now ceramic break ceramic blade i love my ceramics on my cars and in my pants this is their fourth generation electric trimmer which is also waterproof and features their skin safe technology to make sure you don't hurt yourself down there nobody wants that be careful please okay it also features wireless charging with a really nice docking system and you also have a travel lock system which means that if i click this button three times it will not turn on three times there it goes also in this box, as you can see, we've got two products I never knew I needed before. So uh, we've got the Crop Reviver and the Crop Preserver. So this is a deodorant, you use this one after you take a shower, before you begin your day or your night to prevent chafing and to keep everything minty fresh down there. This Crop Reviver Bowl Toner Spray is something I've never heard of and this is just to give yourself a little pick-me-up down there whenever you need Ooh. it, just to make yourself feel good. Manscaped really has got you covered from head to toe because this is their Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer. It is a beautifully designed, super sleek black apparatus that you use to trim your nose. I've never done this before. Oh, that's not bad. It actually uses the same skin safe technology to protect your nose and ear. Now, of course, you don't want to carry around this box all the time. So if you use code OTOTOPNL, links are in the description, you get 20% off, free international shipping, and you get two presents. So you get this handy travel bag and this boxer short, which also prevents chafing and other uncomfortable stuff. So Manscaped really care about your giblets, so should you. Check out the link in the description. Enjoy the video. So of course it is quite a big power increase, 200 horsepower over stock. But actually uh, the car feels kind of stock in you know driving it. It's not, it doesn't really feel that tuned like in a bad way. It just feels very, very stock. Not power wise, but just power delivery wise. Which of course is something that Opt pride themselves on is that they offer a warranty but I have to start with a disclaimer for this video uh, or get this out of the way basically um, the warranty thing has upsides and downsides now the upside is of course if you have a problem with it if the tuning malfunctions whatever they cover it you're safe you know we hear some really bad stories of people who go to tuners the cars just blow up basically and they're left with nothing you that won't happen at opt uh, you're covered on that end the downside is that they have to comply with a lot of regulations and of course they have to build in quite a few safeguards to make sure that nothing goes wrong with your car and that also means that when we test the 100 to 200 it's not that impressive the car is just not that quick for uh, 800 horsepower. So stock we measured 8.05 and this car did 7.15. So it's less than a second from 100 to 200 with 200 horsepower extra, uh, which is not great. You would expect it to be quicker. Zero to 250, it is four and a half seconds quicker there. So I do think that at the top end, which is kind of a weak spot of this gen Audi RS6, you know, that's where it does perform a bit better. But 100 to 200 is a bit disappointing. And yeah, it's just something that we, we have quite often with these opt cars that they just don't perform that well for the claimed horsepower. Okay, 
other than that, I mean, uh, the exterior stuff and the interior stuff is freaking awesome. So I think that's what they focus on. They focus on building something really cool and special and of course limited to 64 pieces uh, that is inherently exclusive. But I just wish that the car would perform a bit better. So zero to 100, uh, as I said, 2.91. We've been able to do 3.2. But the thing is, it it will work this car, and uh, that's that's the upside of that uh, approach by Opt. You know, the the warranty they offer, the safety you get with this car. People often ask why certain tuners are more expensive than others. Well, well, it's because stuff at Opt has been developed properly. As I said. The Aero has been tested in the wind tunnel and at Papenburg, which is really expensive for a company to test something that much, you know, that hard to invest that amount of time and money in developing an Aero kit. That's what sets them apart. And that's what I mean when there are downsides and upsides. You do end up with a product that works and will probably work most of the time well all the time basically now as you know i'm not the biggest fan of the stock rs6 at the top end because you know around this speed 290 kilometers an hour it just feels like it struggles to reach that 300 kilometer an hour mark well this car you can see has a lot less trouble getting there it it will get there and of course we've got ceramic brakes which are just awesome oh one of my favorite things about fast cars these days is having those ceramic brakes you just need them and they work so well and I'm glad that they're on this Johan Opt edition as well now we have the RS2 mode activated right now which is like our Autobahn setting uh, but we did change the suspension from the middle setting to the most sporty setting because this car is so comfortable I mean, I'm in the sportiest setting right now and it just soaks up all the bumps and it stays perfectly flat and uh, on track, basically. It's, it is a really impressive car, the RS6. And this Johan Opt Edition does add like some extra specialness to the car. You can really feel that it it does run a bit better like at the top end it just it's it's a bit less asthmatic than a stock rs6 well it should be with 200 horsepower extra but you can really feel it at higher speeds so this johan opt edition really is well it's probably the most exclusive audi rs6 in the world and it offers the looks and the performance of a tuned car without the hassle, without the problems. Yes, performance can be a bit underwhelming, but I really think that's just down to the fact that Opt wants to make sure that this car works all the time. And I, I also kind of like that approach because I also think that a tuned car should just work every day, otherwise why bother? But it's just a little painful to see the numbers on our list and to see you know less powerful cars have much faster 100 to 200 times other than that it is a really really special car and well they were sold out pretty damn quickly so if you are interested as i said this one is for sale at du park go check them out uh, they have some other cool cars available as well to you guys i'm going to end it here thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it you can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle you can also check out this video on the right or go check out this playlist on the left. See you at the next one. Bye guys.